Today's knife review is going to be the Hornet 2 by Blackhawk. It comes in this uh, regular Blackhawk box. And here is the actual knife itself. A really nice uh, smallish 3.1 long blade knife. Um, I am reviewing this for a potential left hand pocket carry, which I think it's going to excel at. And so we're going to jump right into and go over the features of the knife. Let's compare it right away to the Griptilian. Um, similar in size, and I have two Griptilians, uh, one for left-hand pocket carry. And you can see the Griptilian is thicker, longer, a little bit longer blade. But they, will, they both weigh uh, four ounces, so very similar weight. Uh, so that brings us to the point that this is a, a smallish knife, but a, a kind of heavy for its size, and that's because it's overbuilt. It is built like a tank. It's got really thick CNC machined G10 scales with embedded 420J liners, and it's a liner lock you see right there. And that, and that lock really locks up like a tank. I don't usually say that about a lot of knives, but this is incredibly strong. I can't, there is zero play in the knife. Unlike the Griptilian, which I love, um, but you could get some uh, lock rock, what they call it, if you really try hard to move that. This, there is actually no play whatsoever. It came from the box, really solid lock up without adjusting the Torx number 10 screw. The rest of the screws are T6, and there's uh, nine of them, six and then three for the clip. Uh, speaking of the clip, it could be carried uh, left hand, right hand. These are screws here on all four locations for tip up, tip down, tip down, left or right carry. It's an AUS 8A, a little bit better than AUS 8, stainless steel, 3.1 inch long blade. It's a modified drop point. Um, uh, the whole uh, knife is designed by James Keating. Originally for Masters of the Defense or MLD knives, Blackhawk now makes the Hornet 2. It's got a modified drop point, hollow ground, which is incredibly well done because it's, there's a lot of steel here for strength, but yet they hollow ground it. And um, we've got a thin piece of paper here. This is really hard on some knives to do, and it just cuts right through that. Just absolutely incredible blade. Um, it says uh, Black Hawk Hornet 2 on one side, AUS 8A. And on the other side, it says uh, Taiwan. Don't let the Taiwan fool you. Um, this is made with Japanese steel, uh, American uh, factory standards. Uh, this is up to any Japanese um, standard knife as far as I'm concerned. It's just an incredible, uh, well-built knife. There's some pros, there's some cons to it as well, and I'll go over those. So this is a really nice uh, G10 uh, uh, scales. It's kind of rough texture, so it could rip up your pants if you don't maybe sand it down on the side that is uh, rubbing against the pants. It has uh, grooves here for, in addition to the texturing, also there's jimping uh, or grooves in the plastic at five locations, three on the bottom here, and then across the top for your thumb in here. So if you grab the knife like this and you want to choke up on it onto the blade, then the grooves work pretty well here where two fingers are going to fit here, one here and here, uh, but there are no uh, grooves on the top of the blade, no jimping at all. So if you back off on it and use it this way, then you're going to have um, your middle finger touching this groove and it doesn't really fit that well in my opinion. Uh, Alright, so this is a liner lock. It's uh, flickable, so you could actually just open it just like that. Or, no problem, just flicking it open. Very easy to do that. You don't want to do that too hard. As you know, it puts wear on, uh, on the knives. But if you love doing that, it works uh, really well. So it's got the swage across the top of the blade here. Very good. It's got the, the straight for jabbing. The point is in line with the actual knife. There's no too much drop or, or uh, rise, like on a clip point. It's got the uh, blood groove, so-called, and little drainage holes. There's seven of them, which um, it's just for design. I think it looks really nice. It's got the ambidextrous uh, thumb studs, which are ample and work really well. Left hand or right hand, and that's really nice. It's got the, it says uh, in advertising it's got nylon washers, but I actually took this apart and I found bronze washers in there. In addition to the nylon, really thin uh, washers. Um, it's got a uh, lanyard groove right here. It's actually a little uh, straight line, not a hole, but you can put a lanyard uh, through there. Uh, it's uh, PVD coated. Um, it's also mentioned in some advertising that it's Teflon coated. I'm leaning towards that it is Teflon because it's really thick coating. It's got over an 8 inch thick blade, really stout blade. So let's go over the pros and cons. Uh, before I forget, the MSRP is around 100 but you can get it for around uh, 80 bucks. Really strong overall, strong lockup, excellent blade shape, G10 handles, bronze washers, 4-way tip clip carry, great price, a little heavy at 4 ounces, the finger grooves are in the wrong spot, and the G10 might tear up your pants. Thanks for